Good afternoon, Todd Thornton here from TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in beautiful Frederick, Colorado today. Thank you for joining us. I'm, today I would like to kind of excited to show off a 2023 Newmar Dutch Star uh, 4370. One of the new floor plans uh, released by Newmar this year. Uh, this is a full wall slide with a the opposing dinette and the booth on the passenger side toward the campsite. Again, this is the 4370 Dutch Star. As you can look, on 2023, they did a lifestyle change, so they got a new front cap, new rear cap, and quite a new, uh, lot of new features inside the coach that we'll get to here in a bit. The 43-foot Dutch Star has a 10K Onan generator inside there powering this coach. It is run on the Michelin 365 70, 22 and a half inch tires. This coach does have the full 360 camera system all the way around that we'll show you. And real quick in here is just a nice little, the clean bay for all your fuses, breakers, access to your generator you pull right here. An option for 2023 and the new Dutch Stars is the option for the lithium package. This is an all electric coach and it does have the Lithionics battery package, uh, which is 640 amp hours in those two batteries. Where the old traditional AGM batteries had 600 amp hours, this is 640 for these two with room to add a third. It's not an option from the factory, but they, they can include the tray. So if you ever want to add more, you can add more. As you can see, it's very well, without all those six or eight uh, AGM batteries, very clean inside here, very small energy packs that pull a lot of amps. You got the chrome, stainless steel chrome package around the bottom of the trim. This one has a full length tray that comes out this way or that way on this model. And you also have a bigger, two bigger trays on that side of the coach that we'll get to. A lot of storage area right here for if you want to take a grill or whatever, there's plenty of room to do that. Moving into the next compartment, you have the Oasis Chinook hydronic heating system. That's going to give you all your hot water on demand. That's going to give you your primary heating source. Uh, this Dutch Star does also have heated floors with three different zones and three AC units with heat pumps in them. So you have three different heat sources. You have a 50 amp service with an automatic cord reel. Press a button, that's gonna come in. This one also has solar on top of the coach. That is also an option. And that is, how much solar is on this bad boy? It's got four sun-free solar panels. Automatic transfer switch. Also has the upgraded RV SantaCon system. So you can use the traditional dump method, or you can use the SantaCon system, which makes it a lot cleaner and a lot easier. All stainless steel backed here. Um, you got your tank rinses, RV SantaCon there, that is. Holding tanks, power cord reel for your fresh water, full house outdoor shower kind of to clean this area off and then a uh, place to put your paper towels. Keep it nice and clean. It does have a steerable tag axle like all the uh, 43 foot Newmars, Dutch Stars. A little storage area here if you want to do the traditional sewage dump hose. That's what that's for. You've got your def fill. We missed the one up there. You have a tank fill for your diesel, 100 gallons. You can fill from both sides. You can also fill your def from both sides of the coach. Side radiator, of course. And like all Dutch stars, they are uh, powered by the 450 horsepower Cummins motor. That has 15,000 pounds of towing. And as you can see, the new Freightliner chassis has a built-in seven-way plug and a built-in airline for your um, Air Force One braking system, anything like that. Moving to this side of the coach, as you can see, part of the 
360 camera system. You've got a camera lower and a camera above, along with two cameras on the side, two turn signal cameras, and one camera in the front of the coach. In this compartment, you have the chassis batteries with a chassis disconnect. So if you want to kill the power, if you're leaving it stored somewhere, you can kill the chassis batteries. The def tank fill on this side. Like I said, you can fill it on this side or both sides. Another thing they have changed, you see how easy these doors close. Uh, if you're familiar with Numar, they've always had doors that, that don't close very easy. Well, they redesigned the, how they close and how the, uh, the seals work. They just close a lot easier. Great feature in all the Numars is the egress door. If for some reason you're in the uh, bedroom and the generator were to catch fire somehow, instead of you trying to figure out how to get out the window on the other side, you open this, pull a, ta uh, a little tab, and you can put a ladder down and you walk out. Moving across, behind here is your water tanks. We got 105 gallons of fresh water on board behind this tank. You have 65, or I'm sorry, 75 gray tank and 55 black water or sewer. As you can see, very easy to close. This is one of the two slide out trays on this side. <clears throat> lots, of, lots of nice usable storage on this thing. Got that one. You've got this one that also goes through. Not quite all the way because it's got the, uh, uh, I can't remember what's in there, the Oasis or something's on that other side of that tray. This one goes all the way through. And then of course on this one, you have a external or exterior refrigerator freezer by Dometic. Nice little touch. Put a shelf up here to not waste any space. Now the prior model year that had the um, booth and couch on this side, on the camp side, this TV was down here in this bay, so it would be sitting down low. Uh, they have redesigned it where the TV is now up here. A lot nicer feature. Got a Bose soundbar, a Samsung smart TV, and you control, you can turn this to the TV sound on the soundbar, you can control it to listen to your dash radio out here. And then this, pretty awesome, comes all the way out here, so you're not interfering with your slide. You can make one a freezer, one a refrigerator, both freezers, however you decide you need to use, you utilize it. This is the, they come in four paint jobs on this thing. This one is the um, Dolly Graphics, D-A-L-I Graphics package on this one. It's got the Nova, two Nova Gerard awnings that come down and kind of crook down. You got LED lights built on the end of these. They didn't turn them on, but you can see where they are. This one's on uh, with a motion sensor. So if the wind picks up, it's automatically gonna come in for you. walk in. This coach overall length is 43 feet 9 inches and it is 13 feet 1 inch tall. Come on in and check it out. So this one was designed by us to everything is new this year. All the furniture is new, um, the tiles new, the countertops are new, the uh, the black stainless kitchen or the sink is new. We have selected on this one to put a, this flooring is actually out of a new air, 23 new air. Um, we just thought it looked good. It's uh, quite different than the Dutch stars, but that's why we kind of did it. As you can see, part of the lifestyle change is a very nice lighting above, uh, hides all of your uh, vents or your Thing for your AC units, there's no plastic uh, around here shown, which a lot of the other manufacturers have the little plastic vents. Numar doesn't do that. A little, a little more expensive, quite a bit nicer. Uh, you've got a televator right here. So with a push of the button, you got a beautiful television that comes up here. And then behind here, while that's coming up, you've got the 
place for your satellite receivers. Um, you can hook up a Blu-ray player, satellite receiver, you name it. Bose sound bar. And in the front of the coach, you also have another Samsung smart TV. So all the TVs are Samsung throughout the coach, inside, outside, and Bose sound bars throughout. This is a trifold bed. Comes out, queen bed, so you can sleep a couple people. Also on this side, you have the theater seating option. Uh, and these are the electric theater seating. Very comfortable with a lot of storage in here. Great for your blankets, books, whatever you want to put in there. Over here, before I pull this out, all the windows up front are going to have the opening windows down here. So you can open these up during a rainstorm, you name it. They also have behind here the MCD power day and night shades. As you can see, all new design this year on the Dutch Star. All new valances, all new uh, window treatments, uh, sconces, you name it. This booth option pulls out. You have two leafs under the back bed and two extra chairs so you can comfortably eat, uh, have dinner for four. You've got a built-in central vac system. You sweep everything toward there. If you want to use the hose, you can plug it into here. Back behind here, you're going to have the black stainless main sink. A large opening, uh, both of these open, a very large kitchen window with the day-night blinds up above. You got a Whirlpool convection microwave oven, Fisher Paykel dishwasher, and you've got your removable induction stove cooktop with cutting boards on the back sides. So if you want to remove that, take it outside and go cook the catfish outside, you can definitely do that. You've got your Whirlpool residential refrigerator freezer. Nice size for a motorhome. With a nice little lock right here that locks the doors if I can get it to lock correctly. They're brand new, they're pretty tough. There we go. Nice little pantry. They have gotten rid of the little lock up here and now they are, you actually have to push them and they unlock. And these are all adjustable all the way down. So they come all the way out, easy to get to. This model is a 4370 with a bath and a half. So here's your half bath. Nice fantastic fan above you. Before we go into the main bedroom, one of the biggest changes this year is this 10.1 inch central monitor panel. One of the coolest things is you can download an app for this and you can control your tank. Uh, you can see your tank levels, you can control your HVAC, you can control your water pump, um, all that stuff from, the, from your phone. But as you can see here, you got your tank levels, all your lighting. That's another thing you control with your phone is your lighting top off, autofill if you're hooked up into an RV resort, got your power, this is your lithium batteries. Um, there's also a nice app, I forgot my phone, it's a lithium uh, battery app that you can, you can download and it connects to your batteries. You can see at any time the status of them, the heat of them, all that good stuff. Pretty cool. Got your floor heat here, front, mid, back, auto gen start. So if you can set that at uh, your batteries get to a certain level, they're going to automatically start the generator up to top everything off. You got your fan controllers, whether it be in the kitchen, bathroom, uh, mid bath and back bath, HVAC, living room, kitchen, bedroom. This is how you pair it with your Bluetooth, tells you exactly where to uh, download the app and of course the lighting. 
So you can do all lights off in the kitchen, bedroom, master lights. You can just hit off and all the lights in the coach will go off. Back here, you've got a king size bed. And this one was ordered in with the non sleep number. So this is just a standard mattress with a pillow top. You got the two extra chairs for the booth up front and the two extra leafs. And these chairs to have no fabric on them, they're all the synthetic leather. All of your, you've got some 110s and USBs below here in each of the cabinets with a little, so you can plug it in and have your cord come out without having this staying open. Put your phones up there. In the compartment up here, you've got a 110 plug. If you're one of the lucky Americans that wear a CPAP or a BiPAP machine, you can have the machine up here. And then on each side of the bed, there's a little port so you can drop down your mask um, for sleeping. Moving into the large bedroom, this is, or <laughs> bathroom, this is gonna be just like the uh, 4369 with a cathedral ceiling. Very large shower. Lots of room in here. Like I was saying, here's the egress door. You unlock it, two locks, pull that little tab, and there's gonna be a ladder exposed. Pull the little Velcro off and it's going to go down so you're walking out instead of trying to figure out how to get out the window. Nice little pantry style on this side. And it connects to the large master closet. Built-in safe back there. And all these shelves are adjustable. Over here is the redesigned two sinks with a medicine cabinet. And in here also has a 110 plug. So you can plug in your razor, electric toothbrushes, you name it. All the drawers are the soft clothes. This is the, I was meant to tell you, this decor that you're looking at is the Camelot decor. So Camelot decor with uh, the driftwood glazed maple high gloss wood finish. So this is the high gloss driftwood maple. Right here. Got your splendid washer and dryer stackable. And then you each have your own individual, there's lights in here too, each individual Closets for hanging your stuff. So one of the uh, advantages of that egress door, if you didn't have the egress door and you're panicking, you're trying to figure out how to get out this window. As you can see, you'll get out, but it's a long drop down there. So that egress door we feel is very, very important. And all of these have nice storage in them also. Up here on your control center, this is your multiplex system. This is going to be your heating for the mid. You have one in the bathroom, you have one up front. Or like I said, you download the app and you control everything from the app or this central command center. So move up here. Let's see. The monitor, when we moved everything to the 10.1 central monitor, it basically controls most of the stuff up here, except you have some backup stuff here. This is your slide controllers, your Oasis system. This one is was ordered in with the Direct TV, I believe it was. WineGuard SK100, no, that is the DISH network. So if you have DISH at home, it's very easy to hook it up here. You have the new uh, Wi-Fi Ranger. You got the over there antenna, HD antenna. Uh, security lights, exterior step turning on and off, LED lights outside below the slides, your slide controllers, you have three controllers of this. Um, this is one, you have a remote that you can take outside and you also have two um, 
ways to access it in one of the lower compartments. Solar panel, panel charger, power management system, and then your inverter. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to put the back slide in real quick while you kind of just zoom around. What we're going to do is we're going to put the slides in to show you the type of space that's in this coach with the slides in. What's nice about it, that's, there's a reason they made this door, patented door for that kind of opens like that is because when the slides are in, it gets kind of tight right here. Um, they don't want you to bash your residential refrigerator and it makes it easy to access your mid bath with both slides completely in. One thing that's nice about the new Mars is when this full wall slide is in, you can still utilize the bed. Um, it, it doesn't cut off hardly any of the bed, so you can still sleep in the bed with the slides in. So if you're at a truck stop for weather or whatever, they don't like you to put out your slides, you don't really need to on this one. All the big, big windows on this side have built-in screens, and like I said, they're the power MCD shades, so you got a day-night shades. Press a button and they all the day shades come down. Press another button, all the uh, night shades come down, including the front. So that's with the main slide in. I'll put this slide in. There we go. So we're in, and you can see it's still very easy to get through here. Um, very easy to get into the bathroom, mid-bathroom. Like I said, you can still climb on your bed. If you need access to the back bathroom, you can jump over the bed. You can still open your refrigerator on the road. So if someone's driving and they would like a drink, it's easy to get back here and, and do that. Um, this coach is going to have two seat belts in this this one, and two seat belts in this one that we can be pulled up through. Um, there's no seat belts in these two, in the benches. So guys, this is the new 2023 Dutch Star 4370. Like I said, it's the this one took over or replaced the 4020 of last year. This is the Camelot decor on the inside. The dolly graphics on the exi or outside, the driftwood glazed maple matte or high gloss finish, all electric coach. This thing is loaded. Um, if you have any, like I said, the only difference we did put uh, this flooring is out of a new air. Uh, just kind of change it up a bit. If you have any questions, this is stock number 5N220638. So if you Google that, 5N220638. 638 it'll bring you directly to this coach whether it be the video whether it be all the photos we take um, Just got in it's uh, one of our first 2023s if you would like to see the build sheet or work a deal on this beautiful coach My name is Todd Thornton Transwest RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Give me a shout at 970-301-3736 or easiest to send me a quick email at Todd.Thornton remember the N at transwest.com so would love to help you guys out. If this is not uh, the floor plan, we've got plenty of other 2023s on order coming in. Uh, whether you're looking for a Newmar or a Renegade or a smaller Winnebago, we got it for you. So give us a shout. Thanks, guys.